up, Wedding Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Natsume Jin Chao, aka Natsume's Book of Friends, chapters 95 and 96. So, last time I covered this manga, we basically um, were in this old house, uh, this old exorcist's house, uh, trying to welcome a spirit, but there was another Ayakashi that was causing some havoc, but it was all settled. But anyway, let's get to chapter 95 first and see what happens next. Um, uh, Taki has doubts about XX. What will Natsumi do? Uh, in chapter 95 is titled The Two Who Are Bad For Each Other, Part 1. Oh, is this it? Yes, thank you. Hey, just now, uh, was, um, oh, it, um, hey, just now, was that, uh, Taki-san from Class 5? Uh, she's so awesome. Are they talking about Taki? But she's so quiet, it's hard to approach her. Taki was cursed by an Ayakashi for some time in the past and had to avoid involving herself with other other people. It's likely that there's still some distance between her and those around her. Oh, hey, by the way, did you hear? Taki-san has a really handsome boyfriend. What? Natsume, it seems like the rumor is true. Nishimura, what rumor? Taki-san went on a date with a dude, a really dreamy one. What? She went out with a cool-looking guy you usually don't find in a place like this, and they went to a French restaurant together. Uh, if only I had money or charm, too. Have you heard anything about it, Natsume? No! Taki's boyfriend? <laughs> Is it true? I didn't hear anything. Um, now that I think about it, I never really asked Taki about herself. She's o always the one um, who listens to me. I wonder if Taki uh, even sees me as a person she could uh, sees me as a person she could talk to. I wonder if Tanima knows about this. Her boyfriend? Yeah, I heard about that. Huh? She didn't tell you, not to me? Oh, to me. Ah, if it's true, I wonder what kind of person he is. Takis, you've been to the side nonstop for a while now. What? Yako Sensei! Um, there was just something I needed to think about. Um, there, uh, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot I to think about. Look how horribly you treat me. <laughs> Where'd you get that eclair? Just a while ago, I got it from Taki over there. Taki? Was she with someone? No, she was alone. She looked like she was worried about something. She's totally worried. Oh, she stood up. And she sat back down. And she sat down again. Uh, Taki, this time I'll... Not to make hun. Are you okay, Taki? Uh, you look like you're worried about something. If you don't mind, could you tell me about it? You always listen to what's on my mind, so I want to do the same for you. Thank you, Not to make hun. The truth is, my brother came, uh, came back home. Brother, whenever I go to Taki's house, there never seems to be anyone else besides her. So I, uh, so I once asked about her family. Her parents are overseas all year round because of their work, and her brother, who's six years older than her, left home and is now in university. So they drifted apart. My brother is. I'm not sure how to put this. He's a realist, so he has a rather harsh personality. My grandfather and I loved Yokai, so we'd always talk about them. But that does that meant I couldn't properly get along with my brother. So even real families have things that don't always work out. My brother also finds me difficult, so much that when he still lived at home, he'd stay out all day after school and uh, would only return when it got dark. What? It went on like that even uh, while he was away from university. He just wasn't the type of person to ever really come home. But two days ago, he suddenly came back. I see, maybe he was worried uh, that you were living alone. Yeah, I think that might be part of the reason. That's why I was really um, happy and suggested making uh, sukiyaki for him uh, for the first time in a while. But then he said, let's go, let's go eat out. Eating out? I'm happy to make food for him, but day after day he keeps going for French or, t um, or Italian. French? So her boyfriend was just her brother? <laughs> that book is so stupid. Seriously. It's possible he just doesn't want to uh, trouble me with cooking, but I can't help but wonder if it's just because if it's because he just doesn't want to eat my food. Talking, I'm sure that's not... Yeah, I know. I shouldn't be so negative, but... It's true that my brother has come home, but he says I'm back, and I'm and just uh, when I think he'll stay at home for a while longer, 30 minutes later, he'll just leave again. Not to make up, what do you think? He's been doing this over and over again. It's making me feel uncomfortable, but I don't think he's trying to harass me. And besides, I don't even know what he's back here for. Sorry, not to make... Uh, can I have been sa saying some nonsensical stuff? No, I'm happy that you talked to me. I'm happy. I, I don't understand uh, um, how it feels to be distant from your sibling, but I can understand why uh, you would find it uncomfortable. She went through the trouble to tell me. I want to help her, if only a little. Can you tell me more about your brother? Okay. My brother's name is Isamu. <laughs> oh, the Yakuza Sensei chasing after a butterfly is so fucking cute. 
My brother is um, Isamu. He is a serious and a high achiever. He's a little overbearing and has an air around him that makes him seem hard to approach. Overbearing? Maybe he's a scary type of guy? Um, he doesn't believe in any superstitions or legends, so he always enters the mountains or forest disrespectfully. I guess he's a wild type of person? A wild type? I want to know why he came home, but it's a little hard to ask. You are so pessimistic. I, if you find it hard uh, to ask, just get automated to it for you. <laughs> huh? Nisa, nice I'm home. His shoes aren't here. I don't think he's home yet. His bicycle's gone too. Maybe he's away. Hey, Taki, I remembered something from our conversation just now. I don't think your brother is avoiding you, but rather... Oi, Toru, who is this guy? Oh, Nissan, huh? He's the cute type. Oh, my God, he looks like Natsume! Oh, my God, what the fuck? Well, this is Natsume-kun. Um, he's an important friend of mine uh, who uh, helped me when I was in trouble. I see. Good afternoon. Oh, I brought some of your favorite uh, uh, writing clairs, these, um, uh, Nissan. I'm going to make some tea, so if you'd like. Have you been inside the, this house before? Yes. Nissan? All right, then. Come on in and have some tea with us if you'd like. Uh, really? That's great. Not so we can come with us. Please excuse me. I'm back. It's just as Taki said. Her brother is acting strange. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Thank goodness. Um, it's a new eclair from Happy Swing. Uh, what do you think, Nissan? I'm sorry, does it not suit your taste? No, you don't have to apologize, Toru. It's just that I'm not in the mood for sweet things right now. Oh, Taki! Vitality! Uh, I see now. He really is a rather difficult person to deal with, however. Isamu, uh, Isamu-san, are you, um, on break from university right now? Why did you come back? I can't return to my own home? No, it's just that I heard that you, you haven't really been at home much despite being back, so I wonder if there was a reason for your return. You don't look like it, but you sure like to pry into people's affairs. <laughs> Nissan, but, well, my reason for coming here... I'm going out for a walk, huh? Wait, Nissan. Hmm. Isama-san, uh, not to make cut, right? Uh, you came after me? Something you need? Uh, yes. I'm not the kind of guy who's considerate of others. I don't think you'll be interested in talking to me. Just like what Taki said, Taki yourself is also an important friend of mine. She's extremely worried about you. Isama-san, um, just now, for a moment, have there been any strange things around you? Or have you been to, uh, some strange places? Or have you seen something weird? I felt something like an Ayakashi coming from Isabu-san. I know it! He's possessed by an Ayakashi! Why do you ask that? Well, I often go to places where people are not supposed to go. I'm in a cultural research group, you see. Huh? Do you believe in monsters or yokai? Ever since I was young, I was never able to believe in those things. That's why I'd always go to places that hold old legends and rumors to investigate. Just to prove that those things don't exist and are just superstition. I see. Uh, the latest one um, I've been to uh, is at Mount Kemba, where it said that an ugly dark shadow monster would appear in a wayside shrine. I camped near the shrine for five days, but nothing strange happened. When I further investigated the legend, it turns out the, the landowner, um, uh, Sekinana Goru, uh, simply created an artwork using a roof-like stone that uh, he found when um, mountain climbing to make something that looked like a wayside shrine. Will you stop looking at me like you saw something bad? I'm not looking at you like that. My grandfather was a really curious person, so he believed in yokai and monsters. Toru liked that stuff, too, which it was why it was um, why they o would always happily talk about it. I know I'm a cold guy myself, but whenever I tried joining in on their conversations, as expected, I was never able to. I mean, when they say that something um, which doesn't exist actually does, there's no way I could just dialogue with it, right? Er, but since this is, uh, this is my nature, I, fig I figure I should investigate it. You saw us on your, hmm? You said that you're not the kind of person who's considerate to others, but just now, uh, you were still having tea with Taki, even though you weren't in the mood for sweet things, right? I'm sure you'll be able to convey your thoughts to Taki. You, um, you just have to talk to her a little. Taki will definitely understand. Not to be kind? Uh, yes? Uh, there's something I need your help with. Huh? If it's okay, could you come, um, to my house again tomorrow after school? Could you do that for me? Yeah. Sensei, could you go to Taki's house tomorrow? So troublesome, but is something interesting going on there? <laughs> I think I felt something strange coming from uh, Isama-san, and I want you to help me confirm it, Sensei. I'll give you an eclair for it. Just one eclair? <laughs> tomorrow. I wonder what it is that Isama-san needs my help with. I hope things will go well and that Taki's knees will lift. What? Taki, what's wrong? Not to make a... Um, after what happened yesterday, my brother continued to come back and leave the house over and over again. But this morning when I woke up outside of my outside in my yard, hey, he slept camp in the yard. What the fuck? Something is wrong here. 
Does he hate me in the house that much? No, no, Taki, if that's the case, uh, don't you think he would have gone back to university instead? On the contrary, Isamasa went as, um, as far as to set up camp. Let's go, Taki. Isamasa, I'm coming in. Sorry to trouble you, Natsume-kun. Um, there was something that I thought I had to settle alone, but my vacation is about to end, so I'll need your help with it. Tori, you can come in, too. I need your help. Okay, um, the truth is, while I was organizing my belongings at university, I found this old notebook. When I opened it, I found this key taped inside. Inside it. Key? This, it looks quite old. Yeah. I felt extremely nostalgic the moment I saw it, so I figured it must um, be something I had in my childhood, but I just can't seem to remember what, the, what key it is for. I got curious about it, so I decided to come back to look for the keyhole. Do you have an idea? any ideas, Toru? Huh? You no, know, there are so many old things in the house, so I wonder... Well, that's why I figured I'd try uh, to find it myself. Then maybe if I stuck it into various keyholes and tried turning it, I might be able to remember something. But for some reason, when I ever, uh, whenever I enter the house, I start to feel unwell. My heart starts hurting, um, hurting, and I feel as though my insides are being crushed. Somehow, I can't stay inside the house anymore. I is being haunted by an Ayakashi. Oh my God. Okay, let's get to chapter ninety-six. Um, what, um, uh, because what they are looking for is somewhere unexpected. And chapter 96 is titled, The Two Who Are Bad With Each Other, Part 2. For some reason, I will start to feel unwell. I can't stay inside the house anymore. Wah! Not to be kind? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. As I thought, something is up. There's an Ayakashi possessing I isamu san Ha <laughs> creature adora sorry this is my cat cat oh his paws are dirty so i'll take go take him outside huh wait not to be kind seems flustered but that's the reason why i can't stay inside the house i wasn't trying to avoid you toru huh it seems like seems like i've made you uncomfortable sorry about that it's all right thank you I pretty much heard um it all from outside the tent then you should have just stayed outside since he seems to frequent strange places he must have been possessed by an Aikashi somewhere and in taki's house her grandfather had left behind many barriers and spells all over the place it's likely the um, Ayakashi within him started to feel unwell whenever he entered the house, which in turn affected him. In that case, uh, once we chase it out of his body, will it really be that easy? It seems quite powerful. Huh? However, nothing weird has happened when he's outside the house, right? Then it might be a harmless one. Rather than butchering the job and anger it, angering it, it'd uh, be better to just leave it alone. It'll go away sooner or later. But while it's still around, Isamu-san um, can't go inside when he wants. Even though Isamu-san came home because he remembered the key and wanted to find its keyhole, well, there's something we can do, huh? Then I'm counting on you guys, uh, Toru uh, Natsume-kun. I'm going to stay inside the house as much as I can in order to remember it. Are you okay, Yusan? You look pale. Uh, he's here again. Just what is that attractive creature? Going on, Niyako-sensei. Uh, like brother, like sister. <laughs> oh, I was crazy, niyako Oh, kitty kitties. Um, um, Isama-san, if it's okay with you, can you take Niyako-sensei um, home with you? Uh, sorry, where are you Can you take Niyako Sensei with you? What? I'm sorry, it's a big house, so he might get lost if he wanders around. There's something we can do as long as he stays some, uh, around someone as powerful as me. It'd be po uh, possibly be quite difficult for other Ayakashi to affect him, especially since I'm already used to this house. I don't mind. Uh, thank you very much. The keyhole should be about seven millimeters in the shape. Got it. It's up to you guys. A window box or a lock box? It might even be a diary. Yeah. Um, hey, not to be cut. Could it be that there's a yokai affecting my brother? Yes, but it doesn't seem harmful. Uh, just in case something happens, uh, Sensei will uh, be with him to keep watch. I see it. Thank you. Um, if my grandfather was still around and had met you, Natsume-kun, I'm sure he'd be happy. so happy he could just dance. Is this photo a uh, photo of your grandfather? Yes. He seemed like, seems like a kind person. It's rather strange. You and your grandfather adored Ayakashi, and yet Isamu-san is a realist. Huh? Still, it was fun. When I was younger, the three of us would often visit places from legends. Grandpa would happily tell us about their history, while Onichan would say, that's weird, and ask this or that, about this or that, and I just enjoyed it so much. Though as Nissan grew older, it en ended up just being Grandpa and me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just keep ta kept on talking. It's okay. Her next is here. Oh, there are a lot of boxes here, huh? Huh? These are fine. These are fine. Uh, they are not old, huh? But they are just filled with souvenirs that my parents sent from overseas they send a lot lately um they're quick to use any excuse to return home the truth is i could have gone with them but this house is where my brother and grandpa it's so full of memories for me i so i couldn't just leave it i was selfish and asked to stay behind to, to uh, look after this house i'm sorry this is so childish i, I didn't want to tell you um uh no 
I'm wondering if she was always alone in such a huge house, but I see. Taki, you're protecting the house that everyone will come home to. Yes. Key. Key. This has the wrong shape. If only there was some sort of hint. Taki, have you seen the, that key before? No, I don't uh, recognize it. Um, I think. I see. Hmm. An old key, but I do feel like I remember something about it, huh? I'll try thinking about it a little more. Um, gosh, so it doesn't fit here either. Isama-san, how, um, how is it coming along? I haven't found anything that could be it, but, uh, by now, uh, usually I would have felt so, so well that I would just dash out of the house and yet I'm still okay. I wonder why. <laughs> it's all the echo there. Um, really, that's good news. I tried putting it into many places, but it wouldn't fit. Maybe the lock has already been thrown away or something. Can you remember anything, like where it could be hidden? Are there any hints of the notebook that the key was taped in? It's a notebook from my childhood, so it didn't have anything important written in it. Maybe it's, it's just a work of art? No, it's rather vague, but I feel as, as though it's a really important key. The moment I found it, I, for, I felt as though I'd forgotten something. I mustn't forget. Something I had to remember. An important key that he mustn't forget. Is that key really something that belonged to you, Isama-san? Well, of course. It was in my notebook. It should be mine. After all, someone gave it to me. Someone did. Who was it? It was the ghost. Um... Do you know what the, this key is for? Nope. Um, why are you with Isama-san? Can I ask you to leave? Not to make kind. I can't leave. That's why I'll apologize with a warning. Huh? At the Phoenix bookshelf, human child will be crushed. Crushed? Could it be Isama-san? Is, is there a book with a phoenix here? Phoenix? It said it, said it was a warning. There's a bookshelf with the relief um, of a bird in the west storeroom. Let's, uh, let's go there. Hurry. Taki is in danger. Hmm? There's nothing here that looks like it. I thought it, um, there might be something at the bookshelf. For now, I should find the others and... Taki! Oh, yeah! Nyaka transform! Yes! Misan! Um, Taki, Samasan, are you okay? Yeah, not to be kind, Nyaka sensei. I'm so sorry, are you both okay? It's not something you need to apologize for, Toru. I'm the one that asked you guys to help me look look for it. The bookshelf is old, so it's easy for it to sway. But, Taki, why are you here? Well, I was thinking about the key. It's quite old, so I wondered if Nissan might have gotten it from someone else. And that and that maybe that someone was Grandpa! I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Uh, Grandpa and I had a lot of common topics to talk about, but even that, just exchanging a couple of words with Nissan made him really happy. I was still young and my brother was a lot older, so I wondered if there uh, could be a secret between the two of them. I remember there was uh, being a time I, when I was jealous over it. What did the two of them talk about before I was born? When did they play together? I would always pester your mom and dad to tell me about it. And then I remembered uh, th that one of the things they mentioned was that the two of you often read books and chatted together in front of the bookshelf in the West Storeroom. I just thought that this place might have been important to the both of you one way or the other. But it seems like I was wrong. I couldn't find a keyhole anywhere. No, I've remembered it too. Huh? Who beside? Yes, this is how it was. You can't move the shelf alone. That's why both Grandpa and, I, uh, and, and me needed to be here. There it is! Something's inside. Stones? Stones? Yeah, I remembered. What is it? This is yours, huh? On the day before you were born, uh, me and Grandpa went for a stroll at a uh, dry riverbank. Grandpa seemed to have heard the, um, heard of the room of a rumor that stones with flowers on them were a sign of good luck, and suggested that we find some as a, as presents for my sister who was about to be born. I knew I, uh, I knew it was probably nothing more than superstition, but I wanted to find them too. However, even though we searched until the sun had set, we could still couldn't find one. That's why we decided to pick the prettiest stones and draw flowers on them when we got back. And with them as presents, we would be able to surprise my little sister someday. We promised to keep uh, keep it between us, and then Grandpa gave me this key. Afterwards, things got busy when you were born. My Grandpa's health began to deteriorate. I felt so lonely that I forgot about it. Um, Isamu, behind this bookshelf is a hidden door. You can't do it alone. You have to, um, you have to have two people or the shelf won't move. Okay, okay. let's keep our presents for the coming baby in the secret place. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I couldn't find the real one. This is just a normal stone. I wonder if she'll li she will like it. I'm sure she will. Look how beautiful it is. If she doesn't like it, then um, let's come look for them together. Uh, let c let's um, uh, come look for them again together, uh, Isamu. It's a promise. Oh, thank you, Nissan, Grandpa. At the time, I told Grandpa that this is just a normal stone, but it was probably precious to me. But I couldn't say something like that. However, I'm sure if it was Toru, she would have been able to say those words honestly. <laughs> That's true. 
Isama-san, hmm? uh, please continue to visit strange places regularly. Of course I will. I will never give that up. I have so much to thank you for, Natsumi-kun. Natsumi Though I didn't do much, if it's if it's you, I don't mind leaving my little sister in your care. <laughs> Thanks for your help. See ya. He's got to be possessed by Grandpa. That's got to be Grandpa's ghost. Um, he's like a tornado. Just like how you're unable to see Ayakashi but have magic powers, Taki. Isama has a body that's easy for Ayakashi to possess. That's why he was possessed by Ay Ayakashi and felt a... Dude, that's gotta be Grandpa! I swear to God! If that is not Grandpa, who the fuck is it? Um, that's what... Was it the Shadow Ayakashi? Um, that's why he was possessed by, um, an Ayakashi and felt unwell from the barriers in uh, the house unbeknownst to him. That made it hard for him to approach the house. The Ayakashi this time, um... Yeah, that's what... Okay, it's from Wayside Shrine. So it is from Wayside Shrine. Uh, at the back of his university, but had accidentally possessed him. It seems like it doesn't, um, if it doesn't stay with the Isamu san uh, it would be unable to return to its own place. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Natsumi-kun, Miyako-sensei. Taki-san! Um, they were selling a new snack, so, um, this is as, uh, thanks for before. If you're okay with it, would you like to try it together? Huh? Yes, as thanks. Ah, Natsumi, my Claire! You know, I'm doing the Claire! I know, I promised you, after all. This was so sweet. It really was. I've got, it would I think it would have been better if like if Isabu was possessed by Grandpa's spirit personally, but whatever. Yeah, it was it was no it was definitely the Ayaka, the shadow of Ayakashi. It real it was. But this was a, a sweet couple of chapters. Um I I love that it ends up being a ended up being to a safe behind the bookshelf and it was for gifts for um for toru i thought that was sweet anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigans inc if you love what i'm doing i want to help keep this channel alive so i can keep bringing you more not to make content there's a few ways you could do that you can donate to my paypal patreon go me purchase something off my amazon wishlist all it's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch facebook from me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i'll be seeing you later bye